Hey guys, Dr. Mara here. Here at uh, Glendale again. That is so awesome. <laughs> as soon as I got here, I sat down. There's this osprey there. He just dove in for his dinner. And it's uh, 555 here. As I turn this on, you can hear him. And so, uh, you can see there's no wind at all. The lake is kind of like glass. And uh, just thought I'd come in and get my feet in the water one more time. I might be able to sneak out here one more time tomorrow before I head back, but I got a couple more days here. Thought I'd get out into nature, enjoy the the solitude, the beauty. It's funny, growing up here, you uh, learn to look for signs because there's constantly changing seasons. And uh, here we are, we're just into September, but um, the leaves have already been changing. Um, even when I got here in August, uh, maybe a week into, when I, I got here uh, August 1st, but with all the, there he goes again, <laughs> with all of the uh, signs, it just appears to me like we're going to have, well, they're going to have a good old-fashioned winter like we used to when I was a kid. And uh, what I mean by that, when there's lots of, uh, lots of like acorns and uh, fruit like apples, there's an overabundance of it. When you see the uh, woolly caterpillars that are, the more black that they are, the uh, worse the winter is supposed to be and so again it's not just one thing there's several things that you look at whenever you're in a particular place and you kind of learn to read the signs the signs of change and uh, you know this whole planet and the universe it's all going through a change and you know of course it's always changing but I, I see it as an acceleration and um, for those who have eyes to see, it's all around us. It's really interesting all the things that are happening all at one time right now. We're moving into September here. This is uh, September, what, 4th. And uh, from the 3rd through the 9th, there's apparently this uh, portal of uh, energy and um, I'll tell you what I've been getting downloads whenever I meditate every day of information and um, it's really interesting because it uh, coincides with uh, other people's information like I'll meditate and then the synchronistic things that happen to me is I'll see another message somewhere, whether it be a channel message or whether it be an astrology message or even in the physical realm where they just found an asteroid that's coming in that's supposed to be at its closest approach on the 7th. So that falls in between the 3rd and the 9th. And plus the, if you're watching the sun, you see the, the solar filaments that are releasing or the CMEs or the X flares or what have you. There's a uh, a lot of things all happen at, at one time, and uh, I just thought it would be important to point some of these things out so people that want tangible evidence can 
you know, do the research themselves. Another thing I'm noticing is there's a lot more sightings of uh, what people are calling UFOs and have called UFOs forever, un unidentified flying objects. And one of these days, people are just going to have to come to the realization that out, out of these billions of stars and billions of galaxies, that we're just not alone. And so when people can accept that, you know, that's when uh, things will really open up and change, and at least in a tangible way. For those of us who already believe, we see. And so things happen in vibration as well. So as you raise in your vibration, your vantage point increases and changes, or uh, hmm, how should I say, the visual spectrum that you can see widens. And so you are simply able to see more than other people, not because you're better or anything, but you've done the inner work and you've got rid of fear and doubt and uh, maybe not wholeheartedly or whole or not completely, I should say, but uh, you know, um, just by doing the work. And when I say that, I mean meditation and going within and getting rid of the old programming of what you used to believe in that's, that just no longer suits anymore. I mean, we're supposed to be humanity as one, unified, instead of all the separateness that we're taught and programmed from birth on. And so as you see the breakdown, the people that want to hang on to the old and the old control and the old money and all those types of things. I'm not saying that it's um, all bad either because there's a lot of people that are saying all oh, money is the root of all evil. You know, we live in polarity and that's what humanity uses right now. So, you know, if you're on the positive side or you're viewing it from your perspective in a positive way, then it's just positive. I think there has to, you have to take into consideration an individual's intent for what they use different things for, or their motivation, or... Oh, that is so cool. This guy, he is fishing. And I'm calling it an osprey. And, uh, oh, there's another one. And so I'm pretty sure that's what they are. And the other name... And I'm not sure it's for the same bird as a kingfisher. They might be two separate birds. I'd have to look them up. But that's what's coming to mind right now. So Anyway, they're out here fishing and uh, trying to get their, their supper, I guess. You can see how pretty the clouds are in the distance there. Here's these little birdies in the background going. Crickets. Crows on the other side. I sat down here and I put my feet in the water and all of a sudden like a couple dozen fish came all around me. It was really interesting. One was brave enough, he came right up to my foot. I thought he was going to try to bite my toe or something. <laughs> so, In fact, if I... I don't know if you guys can see into the water there. It's probably a glare, but let me see if I can zoom. There's a perch right there. And some sunfish. Again, I don't know if this is showing up, so. With the naked eye, I can see it. And so again, you know, it comes down to one's perspective. And their vantage point, where they're coming from uh, in life and what you're seeing in the news. I get people contacting me every day saying, well, did you hear about this guy's information? Or did you see this woman's research? And so there's a lot of different information going on at the same time because um, you have to consider the multi-dimensions that we're into. And it's kind of, 
it's interesting to even try to explain to someone who may not even believe in dimensions. Because we've been programmed to think that, uh, you know, when I see it, I'll believe it. But it's actually the opposite. If you believe it, then you'll see it. And it's hard to get around that. The scientific method is something that's reproducible over and over and over again. So, some of the things we just don't have tools to measure. But that doesn't mean they don't exist. And so, anyway... I think I'll just be quiet for a few minutes here and let you guys take in whatever you can hear. Close your eyes and maybe feel the water. tell you how peaceful this is right here it's always better to share a moment like this and so I'm here by myself but uh, I can share it with you guys and so I guess I'll uh, wrap this up before I scare the crap out of everybody by the the guiding light music popping on while you're in the middle of a meditation there <laughs> and uh, again you know what you know, go with the flow of life. You know, pay attention to the synchronistic things that are going on around you. Be open to some of the things that are going on out there. Don't be so close-minded. You know, these are the programs that we've been taught. And, and you know, on, the, on another note, don't be gullible. Because, you know, there are people out there that are, their job is to muddy the water. And so you have to be um, at least a little bit skeptical. I think that's a healthy thing because you know we've been duped in the past and it's not really responsible just to believe everything you hear or see I guess what I'm saying is just be open you know do your research and go with the heart not the head whatever rings true to you individually at your particular moment of your now and wherever you are on your path that's what it means to you. And so, with that, I'm going to send you guys love, light, and laughter from Pennsylvania. And uh, until next time, love you guys.